So what is content marketing and why is it so important for your fashion brand? Well, if you're watching this and you're somebody who's on social media all the time, trying to hustle up some business and get some eyeballs on your fashion brand, you'll definitely want to learn about this because this is a method of getting people to come to you so you don't have to go out and find them all the time. If we've not met before, hi, I'm Vicky, founder of The Fashion Business Coach, and I help small and startup fashion brands to launch and scale their businesses successfully. This is one of my free weekly videos. We post these every single Tuesday, and I'm always looking for suggestions for what you'd like to learn next. So feel free to write an idea in the comments below or just a question, something you wanna learn, um, and I can definitely take that into account next time. Most of the videos on the channel are the result of people asking questions. So this week we're looking at content marketing and let me first explain what that is if you've never heard that term before. So I'm sure there's a ton of marketers out there who have their own interpretation or their own spin on this, but essentially for me, content marketing is about giving your audience value in advance rather than just asking for the sale all the time. And when I say value, that could be something that's entertaining. It could be a helpful video like this one. It could be just an anecdote or a motivational quote or something inspiring. Content can come in many forms. It could be something that you post as a blog post, a written post. It could be a video that you share to Instagram. It could be a photograph. It could be a graphic of a quote. It could be all different kinds of media. But the basic underlying message is to give value. Don't just be asking for the sale all the time. And one way you can think of it is like this. Everyone hates it and everyone's got that friend where they only hear from them when they want something. And as a business, you don't want to be that friend. You want to be giving your audience reasons to come back. Because if you're a new brand in particular and nobody knows who you are, if you're just asking people to buy all the time, a lot of people are just gonna zone out. They're not really gonna connect with it. They're not gonna bother to look into who you are when actually they might be really good for you. Whereas if you're offering interesting um, articles, maybe interesting anecdotes, maybe even just funny memes or something that's gonna resonate and connect with your audience, it's gonna get them to come to you. And this is so, so powerful. In fact, last week I was interviewed for a podcast and they asked me how I go out and find new customers. And honestly, I didn't know how to answer that question simply because I've not had to look for customers in years because this content marketing strategy has brought customers to me. Sounds good. I can imagine because I know that people don't want to be out there hustling in Facebook groups, trying to find customers or doing that like three posts to try and get someone to get their attention and get them to follow you. Like those strategies don't really work anymore and they're super, super time consuming. So some actionable steps for content marketing. First off, you wanna think about who your target audience is. Be really specific about that. We've talked about this a lot on the channel, so if you're unsure, head back to one of those previous videos on the target customer and really niche down as to who you want to serve. Next, you'll wanna think about the kinds of topics that they'll find interesting. So to give you an example, my fashion brand is a sustainable fashion brand. So I'll post about sustainability. I know that my audience is interested in travel and vacations a lot as well. So I'll post about travel. They also like to learn about behind the scenes of how the product's made. And it also is a good opportunity actually for me to give something interesting, but actually show the value of my products too. So you wanna be choosing say three to four topics that are interesting. Maybe if you're in the fitness niche, you might wanna share things like recipes, you might wanna share workout tips, you might wanna share mindset tips, if it's, particularly if it's a performance sportswear brand. If you're in the swimwear industry, maybe you are a really glamorous pool party style brand, so you might wanna share things like beach destinations that people should go to, the best DJs and pool parties that are happening, styling tips for you know when you're swimming but it's kind of glamour swimming or whatever you want to call it. So it's all these kinds of things that you can relate to your target audience's interests and then tie it back to your product as well. So that's really the most important thing here. Then it actually becomes pretty simple because as soon as you get those initial topics, you all of a sudden have hundreds of ideas. 
So for me in the sustainability space, you can easily write about some sustainable fashion information, like statistics, you can share a quote, you can share some sustainable living tips. If you're um, in that swimwear DJ example, you can share a different DJ each week. You could interview a DJ, you could um, create a set list. There's so many different things that you can do. And the more that you post, the more you're gonna get suggestions, just like I do, um, which is gonna give you ideas for more content marketing. And it's really, really powerful because it's going to create this attraction method basically is what we're doing because people are going to see this. They're going to be scrolling through their phone and our whole um, idea on Instagram is we want to stop that scroll. So if we're creating something that people are like, hey, I'm going to a pool party. What are my styling tips? What do I need to do? Or, hey, I'm interested in sustainable fashion. This tip's really interesting. We want to stop that scroll get people to go over your profile. And then yeah, there are gonna be some pictures and some posts about your products, which is gonna get them interested in that as well. And it's just such an effective strategy versus just kind of being a bit desperate and asking people to buy all the time. It just doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. If you're new to the whole content marketing concept and you want a bit more guidance, I'm gonna to link to my fashion sales kit below, which is the first of its kind. And basically it's a toolkit to help you with these ideas for things to post. We've got swipe files in there that you can use for your captions. We've got tons of ideas for um, videos that you could create, posts that you could create and a ton more. So I'll link to that below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next week.